guys welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video we're closing out the third week of april and opening up the last week of the month i'm very excited without further ado uh, let's go i do have a band-aid on my finger ignore that i sliced my finger open i had to take off my nail it's a long story but <laughs> let's start with the expenses as usual for this week i'm gonna walk you through them so we had 42.92 in groceries, 18.67 in spending, 50.12 uh, uh, in dine out, 17 in gas, 9 in miscellaneous, 25.90 in beauty, 115 in health, and 10.19 in clothing. So in total, that was 288 euros and 80 cents. So one of the lower spending weeks, but still over 200. So I assume that's a big expense what did i want to say with that sentence i don't know okay let's close out the actual amounts uh so 750 was the amount we worked with for uh this week let me grab my black binder we we walk through the rollover so groceries has a rollover of one and two euros so that was actually spent uh 43 spending has a rollover of one euro so the actual spend there was 19 and dine out has a rollover of 10 euros so the actual spend there was 50 yes if my math is mathing correctly so gas got five rena got 25 miscellaneous got five and one month ahead got 50 so in total for bills and cash envelopes we put 192 really let me just recount that really quickly yes 197 that's what i thought okay so 750 minus 197 is 553 we're bringing that up here 553 everything here stayed the same in short-term sinking funds so 30 for beauty 20 for birthdays 10 for christmas 20 for clothing 30 for health 35 for subscriptions and 50 for travel so 553 minus 195 358 we're bringing that down here to long-term sinking funds five went into babies five and went into car 25 in deposit five in pets 145 in retirement and five in technologies and weddings each that was 195 again so 358 minus 195 163 so that we bring here to our savings 163 and we did stuff let's see one two three hmm let's add no let's add everything into savings so we're not gonna add anything into taxes and we're adding 163 in a savings box so if we added 150 last week this should be 13 so 10 11 12 and 13 indeed so that's what it's in here and uh, we have zero euros left to budget let me grab really quickly the box and we're gonna stuff the 10 euros that's gonna go in here and this box is, let me grab my marker. This box is filling up very quickly. We have very little left, only fives now, which is super exciting. Let me put this on the side. And these three, I'm gonna add to my rollover envelope and I'm gonna stuff it once it has uh, an amount that's either five or zero because I can't put ones or twos in here. So I'm just gonna collect them until they have an amount that I can cross off. I hope it made sense. But okay, uh, let's flip to next week's uh, budget. So the 27th is tomorrow, technically when I'm stuffing it. So we are working with 890 euros. Once again, I am leaving for a trip, so I'm pre-filming all of the videos. I usually leave for trips at the end of the month when it's the busiest uh, time to film. So I usually rush a lot. Um, so yeah. Sorry for that, but I do have to film like four videos today. And also I'm planning to film a travel vlog once I'm at my destination. So yeah, let's just uh, go through with the budget. So 890, as I said, we're working with 50 is going into groceries, 20 is going into spending and 60 is going into dine out. 
We have five going into gas, 50 into rent, five in miscellaneous, and 50 in one month ahead. So in total for bills and cash envelopes, um, we have going this week, 240 euros. So 890 minus 240 is 650. We're bringing that 650 up here for short-term sinking funds. We're gonna stuff nothing in beauty this week, 20 into birthdays, 10 into Christmas, 20 into clothing. Nothing in health, and we are putting two, nothing here as well. And we're putting 55 into travel. So 650, no, what am I doing? Jesus, 20 plus 10 plus 20 plus 55. In total for short-term sinking funds, we're stuffing 105 only. So 650 minus 105, 545. We're bringing that down here for long-term sinking funds. We're putting five into babies, 10 into car, 15 deposit. We're putting 150 in retirement, five in technology and five into weddings. So five, 10, 50, 150 plus 10, 225 into long-term sinking funds. 545 minus 225 is 320 left to work with. So we're bringing that here, 320. We are going to put 545 minus 220. Okay, so we are gonna put 115 into, I feel like I'm missing a five. I just have my cheat sheet here and I, oh, okay, yes, I made a mistake there. Here, clothing should have 25. I'm sorry, 110 in total. That's what happens when you don't use an erasable pen. So 540, that's here. And that's going to be 100, 315 should be left. Yes, okay. And we're stuffing 115 into the savings box and then 200 into taxes. So in total, that is indeed 315 which means we have zero euros left to budget which means that each euro of our income has a place to go into our budget so i will be back tomorrow with a cash stuffing of this paycheck so make sure to stay tuned for that then afterwards i'm going to film an april budget closeout video where i'm going to count all of the sinking funds and everything but i'm also probably going to do a cash condensing video before that i also have a may setup video coming uh, may is my birthday month so i'm super excited for that and then it's going to be my travel vlog and i do plan to film a lot of videos in may so i do want to film a what i spend in a week video one of my subscribers uh mentioned that they would love to see that so not just like a weekly vlog but an actual what i spend in the week and then i also want to film explanatory videos about like my budget my envelopes also how i do the bills and everything so if you have any questions at all about my budget or my life let me know down in the comments below and i will answer uh them but yeah leave your guesses down below where you think i'm going for my trip i'm going with my family for a week it's somewhere where i have been before but i don't think i have filmed there before because uh, I haven't had my channel for that long but yeah super excited it's in Europe it's an island so leave your guesses down below and I hope you had an amazing weekend I'll be back tomorrow as I said but in the meanwhile I wish you a very wonderful day and I hope to see you next time bye, bye.